Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII! Last time we made our escape from the guards and made it to the rendezvous point after all. A little late, but that's okay. What do you mean, making a big scene? I just jumped into a train while it was moving. Shit, man. Yeah, okay, pal. You were worried about me? What, you got a man crush going now or something? Got a man crush on Sabin, man. He can lift a moving train while running from it. Now that takes skill. Oh, apparently two of our uh, cohorts are uh, Biggs and Wedge. Gee, what a shock. Been doing that ever since. Oh well, I guess it was, I guess they've only done it once before this time. So, or well, twice. Yeah, uh, Final Fantasy VI and Chrono Trigger. So, well, there you are. I wonder what happens if you chose not to help Jesse back at the reactor. Like, does she end up staying there and dying? I, I would imagine not. But you know, maybe it's like that thing with the Chancellor, where it's like, hey. Don't forget about me! Wait for me! I'm not quite dead yet! Okay, well, let's get out of here and, uh... Or, well, not yet, I guess. We gotta wait on the train to get back to the hideout, I guess. And apparently the characters are back to having no fingers again. I guess that's just the way it is in this game. Let's talk to some of the passengers on the train. And this is a homeless person, that's just great. Uh, yeah, I, I was kind of there, pal. Oh, well, maybe I shouldn't tell him about that. Oop, I guess we can't go into the next car. Alright, well, let's see what uh, everyone else has to say. Wow, so much for that uh, new alarm system, huh? Well, we're already kind of famous, but yeah. Not really. Do I have to? Yes, I have to. Okay, what is that? Oh, it's an awfully small picture. Nice fucking model! Yeah, really. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I guess. There's a top plate in the city of Midgar. I guess that's where we are. And there's support structures. So it's, uh, there's an upper level to the city and a lower level to the city. And this is the purpose of the game. You see, what we gotta do is we started at reactor number one. Blew it up. There you go. Now we gotta go to each of the other eight reactors and blow them up too, I guess, and then you win the game. You know, kind of like uh, Secret of Mana, where you have the eight seeds of the world that you have to go to. Well, not really, but... And, okay, Shinra Headquarters apparently is, in, is responsible for the security around here. Hmm, okay. Well... What does she mean by that? They, they never really explain that. What kind of creeps have come out? What do they got? Guards or monsters that come out and try and get you or what? I mean... Okay. Well, let's see what Faraday has to say then. Oh, there we are. See, when you're in the apparently the lower level of this city, there's like a plate there. So there's like a I guess the city kind of floats up there in a way. They all float up there. Well, I never expected to hear swearing in a Final Fantasy game, but, well, there you are. You know, ever since the censors, you know, implemented that rating system to protect our children. Okay, yeah, people are poor down here. We get the point. Well, 
Well, you could walk somewhere else, but eh, people are just attached to their land, I guess. It's a pretty big railroad. All right, there we are. Home at last. There's one thing I don't like about the graphics here. I mean, yeah, the, the cinematics are nice, but I mean, all the characters are so small. I mean, I can barely see them. It, it just doesn't work for me. I mean, the blockiness I can get over if, you know, they were reasonably well-sized. You know, I mean, even Final Fantasy VI was better in that respect, at least in my opinion. Okay, you can talk to... You know, the other people here, but eh, I don't feel like... They, they don't have anything useful to say. They just talk about things, so... Yeah, we're in a terrorist group, and we're going to be afraid of explosions. Great hiring job there, Barrett. Okay, let's get back to the hideout. And this is just some romantic couple there, or whatever. Let's see what's up here. <laughs> Surprise the guy. Pillar? What pillar? Oh, you mean the one right next to me? Oh. Well, there you are. See, this is a support pillar that well, supports the plate on top of us for the upper level of the city there. So, there you are. I'm kind of amazed that one pillar can do that whole thing, but... Well, there you are. Kind of looks like there's other pillars, but I guess this is the big pillar. Well, there you are. Okay, well, let's take a moment to save here. Uh, no, I don't want to get over there, Barrett. I want to save, so I'll take care of that and be right back. Okay, got that taken care of, so now let's head back to the hideout then. What does that sign say up there? Texas... I couldn't read all that fast enough. Kicking everyone out of the bar? I guess it's a good thing they don't have police here. No, what happened? Apparently every uh, Final Fantasy game has to have a lady who gossips about whatever going on in the game or something that you may not know about. Yeah, that would have been so much better. Not. Alright, we made it back. Our hideout is a bar that has a pinball machine. Yeah, they'll never find us here. And, oh, they got a cute little bartender there. How nice. Yeah. How would you know? And we have to name her, so her name is Tifa, the winner of the dating contest. But we, but since I already have the save file for her, I don't want to do that. So instead of giving the flower to Tifa, I'm going to give it to Marlene, which should allow me to date, or well, contribute to allowing me to date Barrett later in the game. So let's do that. Sorry, Tifa. Okay, well, that's everything we can do here, so let's uh, rest up at the end there. Oh, not so fast. Wait a minute. The big black guy has a white girl for... A daughter? That, that that doesn't quite jive with my mind. Uh, maybe they'll explain that later. Okay, so let's uh, discuss the next mission. Oh, the pinball machine just sinks into the floor. Alright. 
That sounds like a good way to hide out. Gee, it's not too obvious there. Now, if you want to date Tifa, select give me something hard, but I don't want to in this playthrough, so... I bet they do, Tifa. I want to get my money, you know, for the job. Huh, okay. Well, that's all the time I have for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. Next time, we'll discuss our mission to blow up the next reactor. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.